Hello friends. Welcome back to our channel Instrument Calibration. If you are new on this channel, and if you have missed our previous videos, then you can find links in the description box. And if you don't want to miss any informative videos in future, then please subscribe this channel, and press bell icon to get notification, when we post new video on the channel. This video is on 4 to 20 mA process control loops. In this video, you will learn What is current loop? And what are the types of process control loops? I will also give one example of 4 to 20 mA control loop for flow transmitter and control valve positioner. At the end, I will give few key advantages of current loop. First of all, let's start with, what is the current loop? Analog current loop is used, where a device is monitored or controlled remotely over a pair of conductors. In other words, analog current loop is used to connect process signals to controller in industry application. And in analog current loop, only one current level can be present at any time. A major application of current loop is the industry de facto standard 4 to 20 mA current loop for process control applications, where current loop is extensively used to carry signals from process instrumentation to PID controllers, SCADA systems and programmable logic controllers. In addition to this, these current loops are also used to transmit controller output to the modulating field devices, such as control valves. Now, let's learn about types of control loop. There are mainly two types of control loop. First type is pneumatic control loop. And second type is electronic control loop. In pneumatic control loop, flow transmitter gives 3 to 15 pounds per square inch signal to PID controller. PID controller compares this signal with set point and send the signal to control valve in 3 to 15 pounds per square inch form. As you can see, in electronic control loop, flow transmitter gives 4 to 20 mA signal to PID controller. PID controller compares this signal with set point, and give the signal to I to P converter. I to P converter converts 4 to 20 mA signal into pneumatic signal. In other words, I to P converter converts 4 to 20 mA signal into 3 to 15 pounds per square inch signal. Now, let's take one example of 4 to 20 mA current loop for flow transmitter and control valve positioner. As you can see, this example shows the versatility of the 4 to 20 mA current loop system in multiple applications. For example, it can be used to cascade a set point from another controller. And it can both control and supply power to passive field devices, which sync the current. In each loop, there has to be one source of current, usually the controller. In this example, flow controller receives the 4 to 20 mA signal from flow transmitter. And flow controller also receives set point from other controller. Flow controller compares transmitter signal with set point and gives the signal to control valve. In this section, I am going to show what are the advantages of current loop. The loop can supply power to remote device, with power supplied by the controller, thus removing need for power cabling. Most of the current loop is self-monitoring, and currents less than 3.8 mA or more than 20.5 mA are taken to indicate a fault. The current loop can be carried over long cables up to the limit of the resistance for the voltage used. The current loop offers easy conversion to voltage using a resistor. Loop-powered current to pressure converters can convert the 4 to 20 mA signal to a 3 to 15 pounds per square inch pneumatic output for control valves, allowing easy integration of 4 to 20 mA signals into existing pneumatic plant. Current loop has high noise immunity. Because it has low impedance circuit usually through twisted pair conductors. Thank you friends for watching this video. If you like our content, then please hit like button. 
it motivates us to make more informative videos like this. And please share this informative video with your friends.